back after the last adventure. The uh, Vogo fucking us over, you piece of shit. But, but hey, uh, on, on yeah. the bright side, at least Cat did probably one of the most beautiful oh, hey. things ever and gave us an amazing song, which... Uh, I, I just love it so much. Fun times. Great song. Everybody loves it. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. 100 out of 10. Oscar worthy. All that good stuff. I and, think Grammy worthy more like. Yeah. And as a quick update in like real life bullshit, I've got a job again. So uh, scheduling. So fun times. I got the same pay and I'm being paid weekly, which is double awesome. Weekly pay. Hell yeah. So, uh, as for me, only... I'm trying to get a job at the at this one gym that's right by my dorm room. Oh, that's so, convenient. Yeah, I already submitted the application and all, just I'm nice. currently waiting for them to respond. Yeah. As for me, uh, and as for this channel, it, right- it, Whoops, wrong thing. You're still <laughs> here. Uh, happens. As for, uh, me on my end, uh... Because, you know, I'm doing, like, the work of, like, editing this and, like, yeah, just editing, right? So, right. video uploads may take a little while longer. You might see some gaps. You're probably already seeing them right now around since, like, I don't know, Epilo Epilo part 25, where things are just, like, kind of spaced out in uploads. Because the way I usually upload is, like, basically, however the fuck I want, really. But ultimately, it's you get your preview video, and then you get the full episode the next day. But with the way things are now, me working like half the week, I'm going to have to figure out how to ske actually schedule things properly. But ultimately, I'll be following this like schedule that I never said out loud before, which was, uh, man, it's a real good thing that the loading screen is taking a long time for me to rant. Uh, 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 oh, hey, whatever. there we go. Anyway, so normally I would just not post on a Saturday or a Sunday. You know, call it my day of rest, right? Right. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on that. It, hey, look, there, I, there's a guy right there. Oh, yeah, there they are. Uh, there. Oh, hey, hey it's Speed. Speed's regret. Oh, v, I can't believe my brother would make such a deal with the council. Now I see it's him sending me off to uh, keep away from Banka. Sui. I hate to say it, but I think you're right. I'm sorry. I'll take care of the Banga settlement. I'm from the Lao tribe. It's time I acted like it. Puleola. Thank you. Good on you, Fee. Good on you. Fee's a good boy. He is. But well, yeah, the as, uh, third as for scheduling, <laughs> real, real quick, as for scheduling, yeah, I won't upload on Saturdays or Sundays, but the other days, yeah, I, I will. You know, as soon as I have this shit, uh, actually edited. <laughs> yeah, that um, makes sense. Strike a deal. Ooh. Oh, hey, Lisa, cat. Okay. You're here. Lisa? Lisa, did they free the hostages? What about Cece and Sid? I'm the only one they released. Everyone else is still being held. Sui. Only you? But why? The council elders. They told me to hand over Banga's mining technology. That's why they released me and sent me home. Banga's under the garrison's watch. I can't risk anything. I can't try I can't risk trying anything with the hostages. I've never felt so helpless before. Lisa, if only I could. Lisa, it'll be okay. I'll talk to the council and make sure everyone goes free. They said they had the deal uh, for. They said they had a deal for me and Raven. According to Vogo, if we do what they want, they'll release the hostages. So just hang on. Everything will work out. Well, because we can sure trust old bastards and their old bastard ways. Yep, totally trustworthy. Absolutely but yeah, well, one person gets their job back, another is basically out of a job at the moment. Yeah. Meanwhile, Vogel's just sitting it up until Fee comes over and yells at him. Although it was probably not by his decision, it was only probably the only thing he could do to get his ass or to prevent his ass from being fried. <laughs> he just wanted to make a deal. <laughs> that little fucking con artist. 
So, um, while we're waiting for you to fly over there, so, um, there's plenty of new developments for Netflix going on, like, um, oh, yeah? Way of the House Husband, so, uh -huh. um, your overall thoughts on that? I haven't seen a single episode, but I already know it's a fucking slideshow of a mess, and apparent fucking Lee, the goddamn creator himself, who have, you know, been in the industry, he's a manga artist, he knows what's up, and decided... After all these years of different animes we've seen, from like classic stuff such as Dragon Ball to fun Sakuga stuff like Mob Psycho 100 and its second season, and he decides, no, yeah, this is the style I want to go with. This shitty fucking slideshow. Seriously? Yeah. The original. Literally. <laughs> that was. He was like, no, yeah, this is exactly what I want to do. Fucking asshole. Uh, fucking dumbass. Uh, heard a rumor that some people coming for the boats. A unit inside the garrison went missing after going on a special mission. No idea what it was, but maybe it had something to do with the need for all those miners? Seems like there's no good news anywhere around here. Mm. But yeah, if you were to choose your own like anime studio to animate Way the House Husband, um, who would you choose and why? You know what? Uh, every time... I, I think of this, it's usually for like, every time I think about it, I want like action stuff, like, you know, Attack on Titan doing Madhouse, with, with Madhouse, and like, Helsing of Madhouse, and Madhouse is so cool, Madhouse is awesome, I like Madhouse, oh, yeah. but honestly, oh yeah, right, because, oh yeah, it, also it, Madhouse did the first season of One Punch Man, but honestly, I think JC staff might actually have a, have a good shot at doing Goku Shofudo too, because they do, they do some good work. Like, okay, that, that, that's, that sounds good. I mean, after yeah. all... I wouldn't trust least... him with fucking One Punch Man Season 2, but I would trust him with, like, other shit. Right, because at least they give some animation to it. Yeah. Like, because they do do good animation. Like, the... For example, the Konosuba movie that they had a hand in, uh, that did really, really... That looked really, really fun. Really, really well. Really, really great. I love that movie. Yeah. The movie's awesome. It was True. hilarious. <laughs> Indeed it is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Uh, gotta love some property damage and classic. Oh, oh this lady. Oh, oh this sweet. again! Okay. Even though you currently uploaded an episode featuring him. Isn't that the book editor I met earlier? Hey, how's it going? Oh, thank goodness. I've been looking all over for you. Uh oh, I'm guessing it's about our favorite author. See. Yeah, he ran off again. This time, he ran right before the award ceremony. Huh? An award? Did he win one for the book he published? Yes, but he fled, saying he had the research to do for a new novel. Please, you have to bring him back before the ceremony starts. I'll be glad to help. After all, I was the model for his story. I'd be eternally grateful. Here's the latest plot synopsis. Prologue. One morning, a man noticed something disturbing in his city. The place was the same, but something was off about the people. They were being controlled by scarabs. Chapter 1. The man hid himself in the back alley out of sight. There, he observed the scarab people and discovered they shared a habitat. It would raise an arm and point to the sky. Chapter 2. The man followed their habit to blend in and make his escape. Chapter 3. He tried fleeing the city on a boat in the market, but the scare people were already there. Whoa, I finished it, but there's more, right? Oh yeah. Of course, but the author hasn't been able to settle on the ending yet. This is the model for the, the main character. He's bound to be disguised as him. Got it. I've found him before, I'll find him again. I hope so. I've got to admit, I'm worried. He's been acting strange lately. I'm not sure lately quite fits. Well, you have a point. There, uh, you have a point there. I'll go over and search the market. Oh, great, another manhunting mission. So I, I actually remember this mission where the people just randomly point upwards. Yeah. According to the synopsis, the author should be hiding in the back street somewhere. A minor street. Maybe he's on one of the streets down below? You know, when I saw that dude's outfit, I was thinking that exact thing for some reason. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 
Uh, you want to change outfits for this mission, or just keep the... Your yeah, well, sure, why not? It's been a while. Oop, wrong buttons. I do this every oh. single time. <laughs> every uh, single also wanna hear time. I also want to hear something weird right now. Wait, on? I do have the red dress? I didn't even know I had yeah, that. Yeah, you literally just Better unlocked it after the last mission, and wait, is that really That's necessary so for this one? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> hmm, it could be around here somewhere. Let me check the first chapter again. The man hid himself in the back street, out of sight. There, he observed a scare of people, and discovered they shared the habit that they would raise an arm and point to the sky. Hmm. Guess I should be on the lookout for someone observing others from the back street. Yeah, you know what? Let's change it. God damn it! Buttons! Layout! Yeah, I, long yeah, time! I, mean, I, love, I love the red dress, but you gotta save it for something special. Because <laughs> that's what it is. Super special. <laughs> Hobo cat. Or what about 2B cat, but without the visor? Sure. Because that's what I wore during this mission. <laughs> Alright. Yo, you know where this guy is at? This is the appropriate costume for this mission. Oh, hey, there he is. Hey, no, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's It's not just him. that same fucking schmuck, but he's wearing green this time. And he, and he changed he his skin answers. color. He changed his skin color, too. Yes, they all do this. Come on, you gotta know something, no? You fucking jack. Maybe that's Sparrow. him over there. Where, which way? Just straight ahead? Uh, uh, no, no, uh. Up. I do see a green, but... Right there. In, ah, in yeah, the that green. <laughs> hey, you! You look like... <laughs> you know this guy that looks exactly like you? Hey, that guy seems to be watching people. All oh, right, duh. Found you! Yep. Oh! Oh, it's the Miracle Girl! Uh, you haven't been... Uh, t taken, have you? Taken? Know. What are you talking about? We have to get you to the war ceremony. This is no time for that! I've discovered a horrible truth! The, the people in the city are transforming into scary people! Oh, that's right. Your novel setting was all about that. Please, you have to believe me. Our future depends on it! Maybe his editor is right. He is acting strange. Fine, you don't have to believe me, but please, I have a request. Can you grab a picture of the scared people for me? There's some wandering near, like, around near the terrace below. Okay, but if I take a picture for you, you'll come back to the award ceremony? Make sure you stay out of sight when you grab the picture. If you know you're not wanting them, they'll attack. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, time to solid snake your way over to these scarab people. Yeah, let's, uh, I guess I'll play along for now. So let's anyway, see. you want to hear that weird thing I was going to mention earlier? Yeah, go for it. It's literally snowing outside my house right now. It's fucking April. I know, right? And it's fucking snowing. Ah, that's... Hey, look, there they are. That was so perfect. I was about to take a picture, too. Uh, huh? They're acting a little suspicious. I think the author wrote about this. Let's see. They shared a habit. It would raise an arm and point to the sky. This is just like an author's plot. Are they really scared people? But it, it's just a novel. It has to be fiction, doesn't it? Just to be on the safe side, I better be careful taking their picture. Just stay where you are and click. take a picture of them. Click. I hear scare people and all I can think of is crap people, crap people. Got it! This picture should work. I got the picture, but those two haven't budged since I first saw them. Is that author telling the truth about the scare people? Huh? Of course. A scarab? And it isn't attacking anyone. So they really are scarab people. That guy's story came true! I'm gonna get back to him. 
Well, I mean, of course it's not attacking people, because remember in the first game, that one Nevi that was attached to Echo? Yeah. Like, that it didn't really well. attack you. Yeah, but it still didn't attack you, it was just running away, so not all Nevi are evil. I saw them! They were scared people, just like you said! Uh, calm down! Uh, we have to keep a level head and figure this out. I need your help. No, I need your help. If we're to if we're to save humanity, the synopsis has all my research notes. Deliver this and the photo evidence to my no, to my editor. There might still be a chance to warn everyone about the menace. Right. They can't ignore this proof. Okay. Wait! Don't use your powers. The scared people will know you're not one of them. And for goodness sake, don't run! They'll spot you. If you move slow and bend it and blend in, you can move along the scared people and reach my and reach my editor. What? And if you need to get out of a jam, point it at the sky like they do. Just make sure you that you time it right and do what they do, or he'll stand out. Sui. I'll do what I can. <sighs> I'll stay here and round up any of the other survivors. What is that you? I hope we'll meet again, as ourselves. Alright, stealth mission. Not so stealth mission. Hiding among the scare people. Pretend to be a scare person to reach your destination. If one of the scare people starts to suspect you, imitate whatever it's doing to keep it cover. If they realize you're not one of them, who knows what they'll do. I mean, at least you don't have a cardboard box to hide underneath. Yeah, that would have been really useful. Point figure. Okay. It's just a random... What? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Point, point Fuck up, off! Point up, point up. It's not letting me! There's no prompt! You... Piece of shit! Like us! Ah! The, it gave me the prompt literally early. Maybe it'd be easier to stay out of sight. Yeah, maybe it'd be easier to do that if I could do that. Some... This guy. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Go, 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 hurry. I scarab girl. Wow, that was too close. Get the fuck out of my way. Dumb kids. I'm trying to save you from the scarab people, you ungrateful little fucks. Uh oh. I scare up girl. Whew. Hold him. Okay, it's gonna go this way and we'll be safe. At least the animals aren't scare of people. True. No, fuck off. Uh -oh. Really? I scare up girl. <laughs> no, cat girl's better. For sure. Wait. You know, if it wasn't for the camera automatically doing that, I would have been failing this so much. Right, and also, like, that prompt being hidden away. Nope, nope. Not that way. That's God a damn it, end. I have to actually walk in the streets. It'd be so convenient if I could just... Oh no, they got Mario! They... Oh, but never mind. I guess that's what happened to Mario after he's technically dead. Does remember? Yeah, he got better. Oh, this is gonna be okay, so but Nintendo's probably gonna send you a cease and desist if you uh, like Mario now that he's technically dead. Like and subscribe for Mario deaths on March 31st, which already <laughs> happened. But you know, we could do it again next year. Maybe. <laughs> okay, finally almost there. Sort of guy at the other ends up possessed. I'm gonna throw her off the freaking building. Off of a building, into the void. Hey, you arrived. There we go. I'm so glad I found you. The whole story about scare people, it's true. Huh? Are you okay? Oh no. Ah, oh, not the author too. Am I the only one left? I mean, there's plenty of other people walking. Join us! Never! <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it in anymore. 
<laughs> the scare of people! Truly the hoax of the century! A hoax. And you fell for it! Caught you down bad in 4K, or whatever the kids say nowadays. The whole town was in on it with me! You fuckers. Uh... <laughs> I was so upset you saw through my disguises that I had to find a way to get you back! You double fucker. And I did! Oh, if you could have seen the look on your face! You mean this look, you fucker? You liar! Right. Yep, you got me. You're still trying to fool me. You're one of them now. Uh, one of... One of who? Uh, 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 uh oh. You can't pull one over me. Oh, uh, the poor girl really fell deep. Maybe we went a little too far. I knew it! You're one of them too! You're all scared of people! You'll never take me! Oh. No! We... Oh. Behind you! Huh? What? Ah. There you are, scarabs! You're the ones turning everyone to your slaves! Ah. I'll take you out and get everyone back! Yeah! Kick their asses, Link! What? Ah, oh, damn it, I thought I had meter. This works too. Ah, bitch. There isn't a single fight where I don't get hit. Yeah! That should do the trick. Are you two okay? Uh, wonderful! You pulled it off! A young girl risks her life to defeat the scarabs and save the town! This is exactly what people want to read! Yeah, he's, he's pretty right. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back to normal. Uh... After a minute, I was surprised to see those scarabs. We certainly don't have the advertising budget to hire real ones. Uh huh? What do you mean? <laughs> well,. Those scabs were real, but the hoax was a real hoax. Wait, if the hoax was a hoax, does that mean it's not a hoax? Yes, I'm saying that the other, that other than the real scabs, everything was an act. <laughs> we spent a small fortune to pull this off. We even beat a, we even built a realistic scarab suit. <sighs> Boy, uh, you wanna go? Oh, uh, um. Uh, sure, or whatever. Oh boy, was it hot in there! Who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, my editor will see you get paid for your trouble, or paid well for your trouble. Thank you, everyone, for your help. You're free to go home. I'm sorry to play such a mean trick on you, but the author wouldn't give us an exclusive contract unless we helped him. I guess I'm glad there's no such thing as scarab people. See. Thanks to you, I've got the perfect ending to my new book. Everetta. Thank you again, Miracle Girl. You're like my only you're like my own real life muse. Are you ready to attend award ceremony now? <laughs> you can get started on the new novel once it's over in your special room. No! Anywhere but there! I'll write it from home! I promise! It was kind of a mean trick, but it's a yeah, but it's cool to be the model for another story. I hope this time it's exciting enough to keep me awake when I read it. Let's see if there's any other side missions available. Ah! Let's see this. Come on, let me do the thing. God damn it! God! Piece of shit loading screen. No, just let me. Yes! Where is it? Point up. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> nice. Anyway, right. side missions. Side missions. What else do we have? Oh, yeah, you Nothing know what that side here. mission also reminded me of? What the what? fuck? Oh, that's the main mission. It reminded me of. Uh... Oh, there's one down here. 
It reminded me of well, uh, one of my favorite movies. Uh, what was it called? Every time, every time, I forget the damn name. They live. They live. They live. You know that famous uh, that famous quote. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. That's oh, where that yeah. came from. Oh. It's that movie oh, where cool. people wear sunglasses and they see like aliens hidden amongst them because the the sunglasses show the real whatevers. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, like the two part like a two parter finale for like season two of the new Doctor Who where. The doctor was wearing those 3D glasses where it was revealed it showed him quote unquote void stuff. Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Only when you wore them, like, not only did you see alien people in disguise as humans, but you also saw, like, all the signs and shit that said, like, obey, spend money, breed, and shit. After a brief update on the LP, we run into our author friend again, who needs our help with the invasion of Scarab people only to turn out to be a large prank on Cat as revenge. Coming up, delivery of death and sights of fear. Until then, see you on the next one.